Hi there, this is Alyssa from Unbusy, taking the overwhelm out of introverted mom life. This is episode 112, and today we're talking about when running a family is too much. So what's a mom to do when you feel like running the family has gotten to be too much? And is this feeling normal for you, a once in a while thing, or a couple times a week occurrence? Check in with yourself, see where you're at, and let's get started, because you're going to get some uplifting from today's talk. And if you need more time for you every day, that's coming right up. If you're exhausted from spending nap time cleaning up the house, get instant access to a five-day email course that teaches you the basics of getting time to yourself every single day. And five days from now, you'll be relaxing at nap time without a care in the world. What's not to love for an introverted mom? I've put the link in the description below for you. Now back to our episode. First things first, we've got to talk about destiny. You know what? Dealing with your particular family, it's not too much. You can do this. And here's why I know this. God created you for it. He knew you'd be doing this long before you were born. God paired you with your kids. It wasn't random. And that's encouraging, isn't it? Also, you have a mom intuition, an inner compass. So use it. Simply put, you have certain gifts, focuses, and abilities that your kids were meant to learn from. And you have the know-how inside to detect when your family's drifting off track. So embrace your knowledge and power. Stop second-guessing yourself and start moving in the right direction. Yes, that one that you've been wondering about. Now, to get there with all the stuff you've got going on, you probably do need to make some changes, and that's perfectly normal. Here's what I'm going to suggest. Make it easier. Just make it easier. Ruthlessness helps. Your top priority? Does this outing commitment or use of free time propel me or my family forward? According to your mom intuition, remember? If your answer is maybe or no, cut it. Drop it. Make room for the essential. Because the essential is already in there, hiding in your to-do list or calendar, but it's got to breathe or you won't take joy in the doing. So get out your mom wand and start zapping commitments, chores, and calendar activities that don't meet those standards. Hey, it could be fun. Lastly, it's not all deleting and editing here. Try this to finish off your funk. Inject specialness into your family's day. What part of the week is the kid's favorite and what part of the week is yours? What new or ongoing family tradition would you love to be the highlight of their growing up years? It's time to brainstorm, plan, and have fun with it. Because these are going to be their memories someday, so they might as well be good ones. Just a note, this isn't about adding something to your plate. It's not another should. Think of this as an opportunity for your family to be about something fun, to have a tradition you cherish. Now, once you've picked your special outing meal or routine, celebrate it regularly, weekly if possible. Think outside the box, breakfast at a restaurant, game in the afternoon, Friday movie nights count. What about a silly stoplight game whenever you're driving them somewhere? Pancakes for breakfast each Saturday morning or a wild game of tag to wake them up on weekends? Your kids are gonna love it and you will too. So here's your homework for today. Number one, affirm your God-given gut feelings. Number two, slash as much as you can from your to-do list calendar or planner. Number three, pick one thing to do with your kids every week that you will enjoy. That's it, but it's going to make a big difference in your ability to mentally handle the role of family CEO. You're going to make it. I know it. Go out there and live well. And if you need more time for yourself every day, coming right up. If you're exhausted from spending nap time cleaning up the house, get instant access to a five-day email challenge that teaches you the basics of getting time to yourself every single day. And five days from now, you'll be relaxing at nap time without a care in the world. What's not to love for an introverted mom? I put the link in the description below for you. And that's it. Have a great day.